What's up, folks? David Soto Jr. here and coming to you from Davis Mountain Air Force Base for the last time. I got to tell you, I woke up this morning and uh, I was excited to leave. Like, this is my last day. I'm leaving. Time for me to get out of here, go enjoy Christmas with my family, and then um, back to Colorado. And I woke up this morning. <clears throat> I woke up a little late later than usual the sun was already out and uh but it was still cold so i started the van up and got it nice and toasty and i'm flipping through my phone and somebody on instagram posted a picture showing snow and the temperature in uh lakewood colorado which is right next to golden and the picture said three degrees or was it six degrees i don't think it matters I don't think it matters. Uh, six degrees uh, in Lakewood. And I was like, oh my God, I've never slept in the van in six degree weather. I, uh, single digits. I've never hit single digits. Like, I don't know what I would do in single digits. So I... I was like, oh, shit. So I checked the weather here, and it was 37. Much more doable. That's nothing to me. I can do 37 easily. Um, I don't even have to bundle up when I at night. At 37, I can drop down in my skivvies. So then I was like, oh, no, maybe I should. I mean, it's gorgeous right now. Uh in Tucson not a cloud in the sky it's blue skies the sun is shining it's probably gonna get up I'm probably you know you can't see on uh, anchor but on YouTube you can see my new shirt got my new shirt for Christmas and shit I'm gonna be looking good but it's flannel I might not even have to I might have to take it off it may be too hot today in Mesa I sure not. I know it'd be hot as hell in my deal's house there's no fuck around with the heat in there um So I'm like, man, maybe, I, maybe, maybe I shouldn't go back. You know, I'm, I'm hesitating. Like, what am I gonna do in cold ass weather? Like, I'm gonna be freezing. So there's a bit of hesitation. Like, I was hesitating a little bit. Like, maybe I shouldn't go. Or what? You know, I, not hesitation. I have to go back. But like, wow, maybe I should. Maybe I'll come back here. Maybe I'll winter somewhere else. Or maybe, I don't know. I thought about it and I hemmed and hawed and then I came around here to the bathroom and the showers and I was like, oh, well, let me get the shower out of the way and start making my way up to Mesa. And I got in here and as I'm sitting in here, slowly getting my stuff together, an old man walks into that bathroom and I'm like, motherfucker, because I know what he's doing. He's going to go in there and take a nasty shit. Now we all shit, I know, I shit, you shit, but old man shit, it's just nasty, man, it's nasty, and I'm tired of, I don't want to endure an entire winter of me having to shit or uh, brush my teeth next to an old man uh, moving his bowels, that would suck. Uh, so, right away, I changed my mind back to, let me get the fuck out of here. This is what I hate about being here is it's a it's like a retirement community community. And I'm a young man still. Yeah, I got some gray in my beard, but I'm a young man still and I don't want them ha hanging out with all these old people having to smell their shit while I brush my teeth. I'd rather suffer through the cold in Colorado and be at a gym and brush my teeth next to young people taking this shit. Which is, that's the only difference because that's where I brush my teeth, at the gym, and it's right next to the shitter stalls, so. <laughs> I don't know. This is my life. So I'm now freshly showered and cleaned up again in my new flannel shirt, which is an extra large tall. 
I didn't know they made, I didn't know these shirts were, well, I was impatient. So I have my other one, my other flannel shirt that I really like um, is only an XL. This one is an XLT. This one fits better, of course. And of course, once either of them get washed, obviously this one will be the longer of the two still. So I uh, made a $40 mistake in buying an XL. That's my impa impatience, you know? That's, that's my current, that's, that's a struggle for me, is being patient with stuff. So speaking of being impatient, I realize that it's a holiday and it's a Sunday. So this cafe in Gilbert is gonna be packed. It's gonna be packed and there's people walking around. <laughs> and it's really, really small. Most of their seating is outside. And uh, I'm just gonna have coffee here one last time in Tucson before I, uh, before I head out. I wonder if these are people who stole my goddamn site. Hold on, I'm investigating. Not that it matters. They're a piece of shit. I don't know. I don't, I don't recognize the trailer. Anyways. I'm drinking bubble water while I'm broadcasting. That's not, that's not smart. That's not smart. So I'm not going to Gilbert. I'm going to stay here in Tucson. I'm going to get my coffee. It's kind of late in the morning. I'll get my coffee. I'll make, I'm going to post this video and I'll, you know, do my daily internet stuff and then I'll head up to Mesa and hopefully I can catch them in time to actually make tamales. If not, I'll always catch them in time to eat them and that'll be good. And that's it. That's it. I don't think I have much to say uh, early this morning. I, uh, I am reading... Uh, Joanne Harris's book, The Girl with No Shadow, or The Lollipop Shoes, whichever you like to prefer. It has two titles. And I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Like, I, can't, I really like, usually when I go to a bar to eat dinner, I'll, I, I, I do, I do some reference reading, but last night I took in this book because I can't, can't stop. I want to keep reading it. So now I'm looking forward to the next, like, I want to go to a cafe, sit down and read this book. I do not want to, um, you know, do book marketing and shit like that. But I guess I just have to wait. I have to wait and see what happens or dog bark. Oh, dog's barking back there and I'm, I'm uh, distracted. But I just have to, oh, I was talking about patience. <laughs> so I don't have the patience to wait in that long ass line in Gilbert. I don't have the patience to not have a seat and try and, you know, I know that, I know that I'll have a spot here at this cafe. I know that they'll see me and they'll probably give me my coffee because they recognize me. Um, patience, patience. That's my, one of my biggest flaws. That's what I gotta deal with. Why am I so impatient? I'll figure it out. Anyways, I feel like I'm just mumbling on now. So I will talk to you guys later on Anchor. I'll talk to you guys later on YouTube. I'll talk to everybody later. I appreciate you tuning in. Feliz Navidad. Uh, man, I haven't heard that song yet. I need to find it, track it down. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Okay, folks, peace out.